here I am at Islamabad airport after traveling uh, 12 hours from Glasgow. Now I'll be heading over to my Islamic Leaf Pakistan office where I'll be briefed on the latest update situation in uh, northwest of Pakistan and probably some other areas which are badly affected as a result of the, the devastating floods. Also, uh, during my flight, I managed to get my hands on some Pakistani newspapers and I was absolutely shocked to read some of the eyewitness accounts uh, and the scale of this disaster is unimaginable. And um, I think, I remember standing here exactly one year ago and doing a video blog for NWFP, now it's known as Khaybar Pakhtunkhwa. And that was during the military operation. And I remember over two million people from Swat were internally displaced. Well, these are the same people who lost their homes, their livelihood, their agriculture, their cattle, exactly one year ago. And they were internally displaced. And then after a few months, they went back when, the, when it was a, a bit peaceful um, situation. And I was wondering uh, how little they probably uh, have been left with after the conflict. And now exactly those same people are displaced once again through this natural disaster of severe floods. The floods which have taken their homes, have taken some of their families, their livelihood, their electricity is probably down. Communication, I am told the communication system's down. But uh, that's where I'm heading now. And uh, the key message which I'll be delivering to people is from yourselves, people living in UK, people living in America, Canada, Germany, and other parts. And I will make sure I convey the message on your behalf that you do feel the pain of thousands and thousands of the brothers and sisters who are suffering here in Pakistan as a result of the floods. You also are standing shoulder to shoulder with them. And not just through words, but through your actions, you know what they need. Water, food, medical supplies, shelter. And I will make sure they get the message that the people back in UK, America and other countries will not let them down. They have supported them in the past and they will support them again. But till my next vlog, Assalamu alaikum.